The Bible says, if you want to know how man was created, you read the book of Ezekiel 32. The Bible said, the prophet said, the spirit of the Lord took me to the valley of dry bones. As far as the word was, have not proceeded from the mouth of the prophets, the bones were dried. The Bible said, the bones were very dried. Amen. And the Lord spoke to him, son of man, can this bone live again? The man said, Lord, thou knowest. He said, speak to the bones. And the Bible said, immediately the prophet began to speak. Bone began to join to bone. Joint to joint. Ligament to ligament. Are you hearing me, somebody? The Bible said the dry bones stood up. They became mighty men, mighty armies. Meaning I can be speaking into your life now. You might be looking at your life and everything looks dried. You are thinking it's your environment. You are thinking it's because of the family you came out from. You are thinking it's because of the people you do not know. You don't know that it's the absence of a word in your life. Are you hearing me, somebody? That is why God said, have I not spoken through my prophet? So as I'm speaking into your life, the word of the Lord is turning your life around. Are you hearing me, somebody? I can, by the word of the Lord, call your helpers into your life. Call favor into your life. Call mercy into your life. Call breakthrough into your life. I am speaking to your spiritual body. Meaning what is holding you together is a word. The day the word of the Lord leaves you, then you will know that it's not food that sustains you. Give a dead man food and you will see that it's not food that has been keeping you. That is the meaning of man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. You are existing today because there's still a word inside you. I am speaking to your spiritual body. You are receiving a new garment today. Aleke vasi vranta. Lemanir sobarandi aku. Bela katu she balata. Mela ke baratush. Selefe keta varana. Me sham barado sobala kati. Lamenon sebalande vase. In the name of Jesus.